What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut the perfect face frame uh, using the FSE Hybrid Elite Dry Cutting Scissor. I'm going to show you guys a very unique technique. Um, it's called the stroking technique. This is how it's done. So you open and close the scissor. So as you pull away from the section, you're going to open the scissor. And then as you come towards it, you're going to close the scissor. Uh, we're going to take diagonal forward partings and I'm just going to bring that up towards me. So, um, Basically, th this technique is pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of practice, but the benefits of this technique is it's going to create almost like a point cut feel, uh, more of an in and out with your line. So it softens the face frame. Uh, one of the biggest challenges with a face frame haircut is that it gets heavy. Uh, the reason it gets heavy is because you're working with a pretty extreme round of the head at that moment. So um, you get that over direction and over direction creates weight. So um, just pulling all of that hair over to me and doing the stroking technique now. Um, again, it's an open close. So as I come towards the section, I close the scissor. The benefit of using the FSE Hybrid Elite and what makes it so different from any other dry cutting scissor out there is that part of the blade is for slide cutting. And then the last half an inch is actually precision, uh, it's for precision cutting. So you get that precision feel. So as I go in to do the stroking technique, I've always struggled with the blade wanting to slide through the whole section and not getting a precise cut at the very last moment. With this scissor, I go in, I get that slide cutting feel. So you get that buttery feel uh, with the technique. But then as you close that scissor, once you close it, you get a precision uh, cut. So that allows you to go in and cut those lines. So uh, you can see that we did everything, uh, that technique on the left side. Now we're going to do that same technique on the right side. Biggest difference here is we're going to work top to bottom in the section, but it doesn't change what we're creating. We're creating a line as we go in and cut this haircut. So over directing everything over, my fingers stay pretty parallel to the section. And then as I come down with that scissor, I cut and uh, create that line. So now we're just going to go through, finish up this technique on the right hand side. And then I'm going to show you guys another really fun technique after this. So I want to give a real quick shout out to anybody that is still watching this video. If you made it this far, type made it in the chat. Uh, I've got a special code for you guys uh, for 20% off any scissor on our online store, shop FSE or free salon education.com. Just use the code FSE 20 at checkout. That's FSE 20 at checkout. Now we're going to get into some texturizing and blending. We're going to use the FSE dual 20, uh, pro scissor. This is from our pro series, uh, in our scissor line. Now, uh, this is a really cool technique. This is going to take out a ton of weight and you're just going to see how buttery smooth this texturizer goes through. Uh, this scissor guys, is only $199. And with that 20% off, you're going to get it for 160 bucks. This scissor is awesome. Uh, it glides through the hair. It's dual. So you can flip it. You can go texturizing or blending, uh, depending on where you want those teeth. Uh, we're going through, we're just blending and softening this face frame. So see how I go in with the, uh, the blade portion of the scissor. And I slide that into that face frame and let the teeth do the work to just remove 20% of that weight as I go through it. This is a great technique for blending any sort of layers. Um, even if you're a barber and you're blending a fade, you can use this scissor for that as well. Uh, but just look how I close that scissor and effortlessly glide through the hair with it. So again, use that code FSE 20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off. Now we're going to style this thing up and show you guys what we've really created with this face frame. Um, I'm just curling everything back off of the face, uh, really leaving out those ends to add a little bit of that texture. Then I run my hands through it finalize it by asking my client to flip her head forward. And then I run my hands through it a little bit more, shake it out. And then we flip her hair back. Uh, and then we just add a little bit of spray to finalize the end look. Look at how that face frame lays right off the face, a little bit of a curtain fringe feel to it, but just really opens everything up. You see the texture, beautiful color by my beautiful uh, fiance, Christina. Um, Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this technique. Can you use it? Uh, do you love the scissor? Uh, let me know everything, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.